Hello, and welcome to some more Star Citizen. I'm here looking at Alpha 3.22 and the X1 Origin Hover Bikes. So we've got three of them. Uh, we've got the uh, standard X1, which we're going to be seeing here, but we've also got the Force and the Velocity, and I believe they were last available and probably will be available again from uh, $40 to $50. Um, they are luxury hover, hover bikes. Now, interestingly... In the latest patch, Clan Imperium on, on the EPT for 3.22 removed a load of the shields and shield generators for these bikes, uh, for a lot of bikes anyway. Uh, I believe the X1 series all have a uh, vehicle uh, shield, and I think the Force actually has two. At least that's what I um, thought and what I'm expecting. Um, but we'll have to sort of wait and see how Cloud Imperium balance this. So we've got external access to the components on the X1, just from these little flashy buttons. Uh, this is actually the first time I've uh, looked at the, the, the ship, as it were. Is that sort of f fuel at the back? Some sort of intake at the back. What have we got on this side? Okay, some more components here. Popping out of the top. Are there technically two buttons on each side? Is that what's going on? Because this one looks like it potentially has two buttons, right? No. Oh. Yes, it is two buttons, that one. So that's a split button. And we've got the sort of like the uh, refueling nozzle here, I think. And you've got a variety uh, of other components and space for another component there. Uh, let's actually jump on to the bike. Uh, I really like the way they look, but it's Origin. It's always going to look pretty, pretty sweet. Uh, okay. Uh, so we can flight ready it. Yeah, my shortcuts for flight ready don't seem to work. It uh, doesn't appear to want to go. So flight readying's not working for me at the moment for some reason. Having to do it manually. Wow. The in-game sound for wind is so loud. One second, let me turn that down. That's much better. Oh, it's it's small and nippy, you can already tell. I should actually slow down a bit, because otherwise I'm going to crash into everything. Ugh. So it feels very skidoo-like. Um, going to be an interesting one to do, like, the Daymar rally with or whatever. It's obviously got that single weapon on the front. Oh, boing. How does it actually look? It's an interesting one just because <laughs> the way I'm sort of sitting in it, right? Oh, it's kind of weird. What do you sort of... What do you think of it? Do you like it? Do you dislike it? Stop turning. I think it looks amazing, right? A bit weird and awkward. Because you're like... You're liking this little tiny fighter, right? That's what it feels like. Because it's like a... Because <laughs> it's a hover bike. And because of its shape. Even smaller than the Fury. Yeah, I think I'm, uh, I just like the way it looks. That's pretty cool, right? That, and clearly, that's going to be a thumbnail. And let's drive it back.
It's turning's a bit weird. Ooh. Yeah, the, the turning on it is a bit awkward. Um, so I'm not sure if I like that. It sort of feels like it wants to strafe more than it wants to turn. But a very cool little bike. Right, we are spawning the X1 velocity if we don't fall over. We transition to the night time for some reason, but uh, the lighting should be good enough. So the velocity is basically the racing version of the bike. It uh, loses its weapon on the front, but it's fast is the idea. Um, and it's got a, a cool skin. I think it's pretty, pretty much the same uh, in terms of what you can see by pushing all the buttons. Uh, I really like this ground vehicle, just the sort of way it looks and feels, right? Um, now, can I just straight up flight ready it? Oh, I might be able to, or do I have to turn the power on separately? So I flight ready it, but it doesn't seem to power up properly. Huh. Weird. Don't know why that is. I'll turn the lights on. But yeah, it's just a faster version, basically, of the X-Run. If you are wanting to race. And other than that, uh, and the dropping of its weapon, not much different. If you want something that is just uh, get you to A to B as fast as you can as a ground vehicle, um, then X1 velocity, potentially a good shout. Um, but, uh, yeah. With ground vehicles as well, you're going to see this in 3.22, go live, it will be on sale. Um, but it won't be available in-game until the next major patch, so at the end of Q3, sorry, end of Q1 2024. Um, with that major patch. So, uh, I think it's worth buying these in-game, is what I'm trying to say. Um, but you, you'll be waiting a little while before you get them in-game. Uh, I do think it's... Um, they're super inexpensive ground vehicles to get in-game. And um, buying it with real money, it's not my preferred medium. But, I mean, you do what you want. I'm not your dad. And uh, you spend your money at how you wish. Right. Uh, let us... Request a landing and then get the last uh, X1 out. And finally, we have the X1 Force. Now, interestingly, with the Force, I believe it's supposed to, at least originally, um, supposed to have two shield generators, two vehicle shield generators. Um, now, we know that that stuff's all being refactored and changed anyway, uh, and in the latest patch, they've gone through a lot of the hover bikes and gone no shields for you. Uh, it be interesting to see where this all sort of lands. And uh, we've got a... Is that a bulldog? Question mark? Bulldog laser repeater on the front? Yes, I think it is. I'm not sure how easy it's going to be to aim with these things, though. Right? Because you're sort of like... You're having to point directly at enemy sort of thing. Um, I do quite like the cockpit. You feel sort of... Although it's open... It's got a nice sort of, uh, feels a bit more, you know, safe. Uh, it feels slightly more enclosed in the bike. I think it's because you put your feet down into it, because if you look where your footsies are, I think that's hilarious. Sort of wearing it as like a mech suit almost. It's a cool little hover bike. Uh, I really like these. Uh, let me see if I can just straight up. Power on. Do we also need a flight ready it? Yeah, so it, for some reason it doesn't sort of activate everything when you flight ready it. Oh, I quite. Okay, this actually feels like it handles better than the other two. I'm not sure why. Maybe it's just because I've flown the other two a little bit now. This actually feels like it's got a better turning circle and feels a lot less drifty. So yeah, X1, 
It's supposed to be a bit tougher. It's supposed to be the combat variants. Um, and get get the one that you like the idea of if you want to get one of these bad boys. Uh, as I said, I'm going to be grabbing mine in-game. Um, especially with ground vehicles, I suspect I'll have quite a lot of them across my different ships. Because I'll want to be spawning them in these cargo elevators and actually putting them in my ship and then them effectively, permanently, until the ship explodes, um, being in them. But interested to know what you think of the Origin X1 sort of bikes. Do you like the way they look? Are you not a fan? I think they certainly look the part. I'm blinded by those lights. Uh, boop. Oh, technically they weren't even on. Weird. Just realised they're now on. But uh, yeah, tell me what you think of the X1. And uh, its variants in the comments below. Are you going to be buying one? Are you not? Are you going to be waiting for them to be purchasable in-game? What have your thoughts? I'd love to hear from you in the comments below. Ho, ho, ho. It's me, Father Nordmus. That's right. It's that time again to see who is on my naughty list for who doesn't have a VPN. Ah, uh, no. That's Northern Claus. Grass from Northern Claus, Timmy. You should be scared of not having a VPN. As you know, Father Nordmus punishes all that disobey him. It's the perfect Nordmus present, Timmy. There's no excuse. I can see all of your website history, and I'm going to sell all of your data, Tim. NordVPN helps protect your online activity, gives you greater accessibility to the content you want by changing your location, and much, much more. Go to nordvpn.com slash boardgamer before Das Nordenclaws finds you. Every month we have a Star Citizenship giveaway. For December, we are giving away a Drake Corsair. It's the winner of the 2953 Ship Showdown and one of the stars of the Intergalactic Aerospace Expo. This fantastic multi-role, multi-crew, long-range mission runner can do a bit of everything in-game and it has a penchant for exploration. Just comment on any of my videos during December to be in for a chance of winning that. There are further details in the description below. A big thank you to everyone that goes the extra mile in supporting the channel via Patreon or the join button under my videos and becoming a channel member. It will net you some exclusive content from Zin and I, but also it really does help us to be able to create daily Star Citizen content, as does sharing these videos and commenting. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you in the verse.